This is Good Joe Radio, Johnny Cotto, FM 101.1. And this is your brother, your presenter, DJ Natalia. And first of all, I just want to, you to introduce yourself. Um, I, just want, uh, I will start from my, my left. Um, my brother, you can start introducing yourself so that they can know who and who is in the building. Okay, thank you, sir, for this opportunity. Uh, happy Sunday. To... Happy Sunday to you, too. Okay, my name is Francis, Francis Dole. Dole? Yeah. From? From Manjai. Manjai. Francis, you are welcome to the program. Thank you. Hello, listeners. I'm very happy to be back home again. Mm. Uh, this is Philip Gomez. Philip Gomez. <coughs> uh, commonly known as Mr. Gomez in Gunju. In Gunju. I welcome myself back in home, South Gambia. We love to see you around, you know. Thank you, and sir. It's good to hear your voice once again. Thank you, sir. Wisdom. <laughs> yeah. And um, the next one. Okay, I am Louis Mendy, known as Pastor Louis. Pastor Louis. Yeah. We are blessed to have you, sir. Thank you. Um, good afternoon to my very listeners here on Gunjur Dane Koto. Mm. I am um, Peter Omar Mende. Peter Omar Mende. Yeah, a native of Sifo. Sifo. But recently resided in Prikama, oh. Nyambai. We will be happy to have you here. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. Afternoon. My name is Maria Gomez from Manjai. Maria Gomez from Manjai. We have two Manjai people here and um, two Sifo. The other one is from Kibu. And the next one. Good afternoon. Afternoon. I am Agnes Gomez. Agnes Gomez. From Brikama. From Brikama. Yeah, you are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, um, once again, good to have you here. You know, um, the first time I link you, the special pastor, um, you say like you have this organization. Exactly. And, uh, and you have some events coming up. So we'll discuss that later. But um, first of all, I just want to like know about this organization. What, uh, what is the, 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 the organization all about? Can you just have a brief <coughs> explanation about it? OK. Briefly, I will, I will say the organization is called the Empowered Christian. The Empowered Christian Organization. organization. Yeah. Wow. The aim and objective of the organization, the organization is here mm -hmm. uh, to to empower people okay. and empower Gambians oh. at large to, to help them to become what God wants them to be. To be. Exactly. Oh. So we, we believe uh, the Gambians and the youths of the Gambia, mm -hmm. we believe that uh, uh, people want to be empowered in their giftings, but they don't have help. Sure. They don't have any means to be, to be where they want to be. They struggle, maybe, maybe for example, their friends will begin to demote them mm -hmm. and tell them other things that will not even help them to be where they want to be. Okay. So that's why we are here as Gambians mm -hmm. and Christians mm -hmm. to make sure that we help everybody in the Gambia to become what God wants them to become. Wow. So the organization is here to build people, mm -hmm. to build them in their talents because we believe, we believe everybody is gifted in their own way. We believe we are here to help them to become what they want to become. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. That's, that's, that's a very good uh, innovation, having such an organization empowering special youth in the Gambia. It's uh, something beautiful. Uh, how to see Gambia as a useful population, and we need these organizations, and you guys come up with such a wonderful innovation, and it's such a wonderful thing to have in the Gambia. And uh, my next question is gonna be like, uh, when was this found, this organization? When was this found? <laughs> uh, uh, my people uh, are here. Yeah. We are from different churches. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. From the Catholic, the Methodist, you understand? From, some are from Anglican. But this is not the whole team. Uh, the team, it's many. But, you know, your radio can't contain us all. <laughs> it seems to be a big organization, right? Yes, that's why we just selected few people just to come and just speak to the Gambians and let them know what is going on. Uh, this vision came to us in 2018. 2018? 18, but we didn't do anything that time. Okay. We didn't start anything. It's like we get the revelation from the Yes, <laughs> yes, the vision came to us because, because in 2017, we came together as youths of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. We looked at ourselves, 
we believe that yes, we want to be empowered. We want to be where God wants us to be, but we didn't have any any form of help. You understand to be where we supposed to be. But by the grace of God, with my team and everybody around, we sat and we talked about it. So in in two thousand and uh, 18, the vision came very strong. And I told them, we need to start something. Because the vision is very strong now. So, but we needed fun to do that. But we didn't have money yet, you understand? Yeah. So we slugged till 2019. Wow. You understand? Yeah. 2019, my team, they came, they said, Pastor, we have to start something. Sure. I said, I said, yes, let's do something. So I told them, yes, if we don't do anything, we don't think God can just send us money from a book just like that. Yeah. <laughs> we have to do something. So he uses people to give us something. So they we will, decided... You will bless the, hand, the, the work of your hands. Yes. <laughs> you will, you will put them there. We decided with the team, and then, and then they said, Pastor, you can head us. Mm -hmm. They said, just lead us in this. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. If that is the case, then uh, let me just lead the youths, the Gambians. Okay. So to be where God wants us to be. Yeah. That's why we are where we are today. Yeah. So, and we're coming up with a program, but before I go on, I want my, my, my people to say something about it. Then, then we kick on like that. Thank you. So, Philip, you can say something about the organization. Yes. Thank you very much, Pastor, for giving me the floor. Uh, the big man do ask, what, 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 what is the organization all about? Yeah, this organization is all about bringing people together as one. Non-Christians, Christians, we don't um, consider wherever you are or wherever you come from. What we want to focus on is to make sure people are in, in line and in accordance to the will of God and to be one as the body of Christ, not about churches. Okay? And therefore, um, because here is the media, we want to inform the general public there that this organization is not a church matter, it's a oneness matter. So we are urging all, everybody to kickstart their preparation towards uh, encouraging and also embarking towards the, the, the organization itself. And therefore, uh, I just want to thank uh, Pastor with the team uh, for this wonderful initiation. In the season, and I know uh, by the grace of God, uh, God will really touch uh, him to definitely create an impact to, towards the, the development of uh, this nation through Christianity. And therefore, I stop for a while, and my Lieutenant General, Mr. Dole, is Dole. also here with me, yes. Dole, say something, say something. Uh, okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I think I won't say much because my generals have said it all. So what I would want to advise people and then let them know that this organization is, as he said, is not all about churches. And we are there not for, it's not for uh, denomination, it's for non-denomination. We are there for the body of Christ. And then we want youths of the Gambia to come together and then we fight and then get what we want and that is to preach the gospel and to expand the kingdom of God in this nation. Because as youths, we need to come together and then be one. If we don't show love to each other, I don't think so we can make it in this nation as, as Christians. So with that, with, uh, with that, I believe this organization will do, something like, uh, will do something great in this nation. So if we come together, I believe something will happen. And you mentioned something about uh, making love to uh, love together. Okay, uh, thank you for that question. Uh, what I want to say, I'll add on that, is that like uh, people being united, who will so love to each other, because uh, if we check, uh, first of all, our Creator Himself is love. And then, if our Creator is love, and then His commandment, first commandment, that, that break, He breaks the Ten Commandments into two commandments. That the first commandment said, love the, the Lord God, we, the love the Lord God. Uh, and also, He tells us that we should love our neighbor as we love ourselves. 
So here, if God Himself is love, I believe we ourselves we need to we need to come together and then show each other this love. I cannot love myself and hate my brother, or I cannot hate my brother and pretend to love God. That is hypocrisy. So what I would advise people is that for, for, for us to be united, we need to come to work together and then love each other. We need to work together as family. And we need to respect each other. again to our very listeners outside there and what I would love to say about the organization is um, this organization was battered by a vision and then this vision was given to an individual and then this individual also came to the came to the people who are us that are seated here and then others who are home there and then expressed the vision to us and then told us how we encounter during the vision and then we all took it to our own, hand, our own hands and then decided to work on to develop that vision and even come to have an achievement of it. And then which came through an organization which is the Empowered Christian Organization, which is not only limited for Gambians and not only for Christians. It is for the old Gambians and even to the world at large. And then the Christian Empowered Organization is looking at many things. That is what um, our brother Francis has just been really saying, which is to bring the whole body of Christ together. And then it is not a denominational thing. We are looking at different churches. We are not just looking at you are from this church, you are from that church, I'm from that church. We are looking at everybody as a Christian, everybody as a child of God, and then trying to build uh, the body of Christ, put it together, because we, we are told that the body of Christ is one. And then that's how we see it. And when the organization came, we wanted to work it on together. It was, uh, despite the churches that we come from, Methodist, Catholic, and you know, everybody is just looking at, I'm from Catholic, I'm from Methodist, I'm from this church, and then we just see ourselves like that. This person is from Catholic, this person is from Methodist, you know, and then we are Pentecostal, so we have nothing in common to see. Definitely, yeah. So when Christ came, I believe he, he didn't, definitely. So when Christ came, he didn't present church to us, he only presented the gospel to us. And then that's how we felt it and that's how we take it from the vision. That's why we call ourselves um, the Empowered Christian Organization. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, well, I would just say my bosses have said it all. And the uh, Empowered Christian is, we are just here to bring youth together and to make Gambia for Christ. Yeah, so it's not like this one is from Catholic or this one is from this other churches. We are just trying to be, bring the body of Christ to be one. The churches doesn't matter. What matters is we're doing what God asks us to do. We're trying to bring impact in our own generation. Thank you. Yeah. Good afternoon, um, extensively, just to give a brief explanation again on what the Empowered Christian Organization is all about. This organization was battered out of a vision to empower, to help, to ignite passion, to discover purpose in the lives of indigi individuals through the help of the Holy Spirit. This organization is here to help youths, is here to help people of different denominations, people of different backgrounds, wherever you are coming from, so long as you are ready to, to discover what you are supposed to do, what you believe you are supposed to accomplish on this earth, we are ready to work with you. That is all what this organization is all about, just to help people. We are not interested whatsoever church you are coming from. You just come and then we are ready to help you. As the name implies, the Empowered Christian Organization, these people seated here are all empowered people because you cannot help somebody when you yourself haven't discovered yourself. Yeah. This vision came and the pioneer of this vision was doing something similar to this before God gave him this word. We meeting him personally, he didn't show us a spirit of disintegration to tell us you are from this church. 
I'm from the Catholic Church. Some of them are from different churches. But working with him, we have never experienced that kind of thing like you are from here. Mm -hmm. He has helped us, and he's the reason why we are here okay. today, together with all of them seated here. Mm -hmm. I personally am a testimony. They have really helped me, okay. and nobody has ever told me to leave my church. Mm -hmm. I'm still in my church, and everybody worships in their church. Mm -hmm. But we are fulfilling purpose together as a team. We are doing what we are supposed to do, just to clear the minds of people outside. Everybody is welcome to come and work with this vision. Mm -hmm. We want to see a generation that has been impacted, a generation of fire, a generation of revival mm -hmm. that will transform this nation into something else. Wow. Yeah, because people cannot penetrate churches in this current situation. Mm -hmm. If you are invited somewhere, somebody cannot go to somebody's church. So, so we want to see that narrative change. change. We want to see a Pentecostal entering a Catholic church to, to, to preach the message of God. Mm -hmm. That is what the unity is all about, mm -hmm. just to worship Christ. Yeah. Because when the apostles were identified in the Bible, the people said they are Christ-like. They didn't say they are from the Catholic. Oh, these people look like Pentecostals. They said they are Christ-like. So we want that to happen in the Gambia, where Christians will be seen as Christ-like mm -hmm. and not Pentecostal and Orthodoxes. Yeah, Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, my sister, on, on that. I just trying to listen to your uh, all your conversation, but you have this this keyword that empowering, like building uh, uh, talent. Exactly. And my next question, like uh, maybe uh, you can say on that, uh, Louis. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, how will you enable to build uh, like an like an individual to build their talent, and what is the procedure you want to? To, to do this? Uh, the empowered Christian, like what we're doing, we're not forcing anybody mm -hmm. to do anything that you don't want to do. Okay. As long as uh, you are a Gambian, anything that you are gifted into, we give you a platform. We will give you a privilege. You understand? A chance to do something. Okay. You understand? Maybe, for example, you are gifted in singing. Okay. You have been releasing tracks. You understand? And nobody hears about you. Mm -hmm. Come to the Empowered Christian, come to our national programs, tell us, and we'll give you a chance to do something. Mm -hmm. You understand? For others who didn't hear about you, to start hearing about you. You understand? Yeah. That's how we build in the talents of people. Okay. And we and and we raising a generation of fire mm -hmm. in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. So and when you mean a generation of fire, what are you trying to I'm trying to say here? Yeah. You want to bring a spirit of your life. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. trying to say we're raising people that love God so much. Okay. We're raising people that you know that uh, uh, they didn't, they will not even look at churches. Well, I'm glad you say that. You understand? I'm just glad you say that. Because when you say generation of fire, it's like, these people, are they going to line me with a match or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say love, you know, and I love that. You yes. Love that. That, is, that is our desire. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because we believe that Christ is for us in the Gambia. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And we believe that uh, God is working through us mm -hmm. to do something. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's our desire to raise people. You understand? To become what God, what God wants them to become. Even though if you want to become a reverend father, we will help you to become a reverend father. Mm -hmm. You understand? You want to become a pastor, we will we will raise you up and hand you up mm -hmm. to those people who are who are recruiting people like that. Okay. You understand? Whether they are recruiting you to be a pastor, we will raise you. We will help you to become on fire, and we will send you there. Okay, and you, and you, whether you want to be a reverend father, a reverend sister, we'll raise you up and send you there. Okay. You understand? Okay. That's what we are here for. We we don't give a room for criticism wow. to any church. Because we believe that every church is genuine mm -hmm. as long as you are talking about Christ. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, I'm... And it's, 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 it's very wonderful, and you, 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 you elaborate so, some of the procedures, and I just, something came onto my mind, like, are you doing this through mentoring, or is it preaching, or which, which life? Which? We're doing this, we're doing this through programs, you understand? Program like? Like, like, like having a national gathering oh, okay. every year. To give platform to people, mm -hmm. because our aim is not to hold anybody. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I think there is an upcoming event coming, but I will talk about that later. Yes, mm -hmm. we're doing this through gathering them every year. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the vision that God gave us is this: like 
Christians are no longer hungry to be identified in public that they are Christians. You understand? When they sit with other people, you understand? They are hiding their Christianity. That's wrong. You understand? Yeah, yeah that's wrong. So we believe that we are raising a generation mm -hmm. that is ready and that is on fire for God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, so we're doing this four times every year. Okay. You understand? Wow. We're not just doing it on the youths alone. Okay. We're giving privilege to the kids mm -hmm. from 18 years, 17 years downward. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're having their kids' national program every year, mm -hmm. giving them the platform to, to execute their talents, you understand, to do something for God. Mm -hmm. You understand? And giving chance also to the ministers, mm -hmm. like drummers in the church, okay. singers in the church, mm -hmm. evangelists in the church, pastors in the church. Yeah. We're doing that to have a national ambassadors program because all those people are ambassadors. Mm -hmm. they, are, they, are, they are taking over, uh, taking care of the people, you understand? And helping the ones that are in the church, the congregations. You understand? So those people, we bring them together and sapping ourselves to the level of ministers. Talk to ourselves as, like, as we are doing this, don't just look onto yourself just ordinary like that. Mm. You will be judged. Well, sure. Whatever that you do today, when you don't do it well, one day or the other, we will leave this earth. Mm -hmm. And we will be judged. Mm -hmm. Because we, we are sent for a purpose, purpose. And, yeah. and if we did fulfill the purpose, God will not be happy with us. That's why we're here to change that mindset. So that Christians can be united. Mm -hmm. Christians can come together. As one body. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are hearing me right now. That's our desire. We want them to come together. Mm -hmm. As one body to serve this Jesus. That's what happened. Even, even Jesus Christ said to his disciples when he was, when the disciples went to cast out demons. You understand? Mm -hmm. Other people were casting out demons also. Yeah. The disciples came to Jesus and told Jesus, Master, these people are casting demons in your name. Yeah. And Jesus laughed and told them, leave them as long as they are not against us. They are for us. They are for us. <laughs> you understand that? So as long as we are for Jesus, let's yeah. come together and hail him up. Mm. Let's together. celebrate him. Together. Yes, together. together. That's, that's our desire. And, yeah. Thank you. That's, 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 that's good to know. And thank you. Thank you for clarifying that point. And I'm... Um, you talked about talent, uh, looking for talent, and I just, I just, I just, I'm just curious yeah. <laughs> to know uh, how how will you do this? <laughs> yeah, we so normally what, what, like what particular put, uh, what particular talent are you looking? For? We're looking at all the talents. Just, you know, you know, in the church we have this uh, like this mindset yeah. that like this one is a singer, uh -huh. this one can drum, uh -huh. you know. That me, I don't have any ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, you just being a member of the church like that. No, you have something. Exactly. And you, you are contributing something. Exactly. You have a gift in you. Exactly. So, um, like, I just want you to like to uh, to elaborate more on that point because this mindset of like this one is a singer, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, this one always leading the choir, mm -hmm. this one is a drummer. You know. So me, I'm just a mere member. No. So I just want you to like. We have, you know, you know, every year, if we are doing any national program, mm -hmm. we divide ourselves. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Uh, we call out for people, you understand, from different churches, mm -hmm. and we divide ourselves. We, we normally have the choir team, you understand? Mm -hmm. the, the drummers, okay. instrumentalists, mm -hmm. you understand? And any other person who thinks that cannot sing, cannot drum, they go to the prayer band, to the prayer team. Okay. okay, if you think you cannot pray, you think you are also gifted in one way or the other, maybe you are gifted in the media side, mm -hmm. you can go and handle the media side for us. You understand? Somebody can see you there and want to help you to, yeah. to develop your media skills. You understand? Mm -hmm. we, we do that and, and give people also to have, to have chance, you understand, to do ushering. Ossering okay. people. So if you think you cannot usher, do you know some people in the body of Christ are there? They don't like these things, but they like brutal things. They want to be soldiers. We give them security part. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Sec secure the men of God. Yeah. Secure the place. Yeah. You understand? So they are very happy. They dress. They put on dark suits. Yeah. You understand? Put on dark specs, goggles, yeah, you know? and stand. 
They are happy doing that. Yeah. So that's how it's we are. Part of the plan as yes, part. that's that's how we are building, mm. building everybody to become what God wants them to become. He, he orders orders to you understand who are who are passionate about the educational side. Mm. We give you a chance, you understand, mm. to be to be climbing the podium, mm. to be talking. If you are fluent in talking, mm. we give you a chance to be yeah. climbing the podium and talking. You understand? Somebody. Somebody like that in the team last year handle handle MC side, you know, because he's good in talking. Yeah. When he handles that, after handling that, you understand, one media platform called him wow. and told him, we want you to work for us. Yeah, beautiful. You understand? Journalism. They called him, they said, you are vocal. Mm -hmm. We want you to come. You understand that? It's all about him. So it's, that is how we help people to, to recognize their gift and become what God wants them to become. Yeah. Mama, do you have something to say about that? Uh, yeah, uh, you have said a lot, um, yeah. but uh, coming down to how you will be able to enable somebody to become what he or she should be, yeah. um, I believe so much that this organization is a platform that is created for everybody. Yeah. You know, you might have the talent there, and then you yourself know that you have the talent. Yeah. But we are to express it. Yeah. We are to sew it off mm -hmm. so everybody can see it and recognize it. Mm -hmm. The platform is not there. But this organization has given the platform. Them the opportunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. This uh, organization is given the opportunity and then the platform. You know, you can only be recognized when you have a platform for you. But if there is no platform for you, you cannot be recognized and you can't be known. Sure. You need a platform to expose yourself. So this platform is given to people, mm -hmm. the Gambians, the Christians, to everybody, sure. to be able to come and then express themselves so their talents can be known mm -hmm. and can also be seen. Sure. And then, just as he said, through that, many, many, mm -hmm. you know, we have some of them that are working on their traveling mm -hmm. due to that. Sure. You know, people see them, how they manifest uh, in the previous years, that is 2019 and 2020, and then they were appreciated. Mm. And now helps are coming for them. And, and this is done through your organization? Yes. And you know, they have been there for a long time. Mm. But that and has not been mind. seen. Mm. And they have not been exposed to the media. They have not been exposed to people. Yeah. But after that, they have been exposed through that. Mm. And then today, they are about to go to somewhere else. Yeah. Who knows? It could be somebody else also this year. Sure. It could be somebody's turn too. Yeah, it could be many people's yeah. turn. Yeah. When it's a season, yeah. It yeah. So the organization is a platform whereby everybody can come in yeah. with a genuine reason mm -hmm. just to be there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's giving a platform to everybody, yeah. to all Christians, to everybody. Yes, you know, as I said earlier, it's not only limited to Christians, mm -hmm. but to everybody. Everybody that Everyone. thinks that, yes, they can be part of the organization mm -hmm. and work for a betterment of it and then bringing everybody together, then that individual is welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. And I think uh, uh, every David leader Goliath, <laughs> to be able to expose him to another level. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so uh, Philip, what, what can you say about that? You know, we, like, you need to be to be exposed to something that will that, that will take you to your to your to your purpose or your destiny. Something must happen, and it's maybe through your organization. Someone can be what he has called to be, but someone right now is hiding. What what do you have to say about that kind of person? Maybe he is shy, you know. He has the fear. So what do, what is your encouragement about that that person? Maybe that person is listening. Yes, uh, here we don't need to fear or be aside, be shy of anything. Okay. Because uh, from my own story, I will say to the public that I know, and many people know that in me that when it comes to uh, like public talking, uh, I I am able in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you don't have a stage to step on, mm -hmm. nobody will not see you. Even the most tallest man in the world will not see you. Talk less of the short people. You need a platform. So you, you need connection. You need yeah. connection. Even the mobile, it has a charger. Sure. So once you don't have connection, you can never be connected. Mm. 
and we are not saying that uh, we we can connect, but we are saying that we can try to connect you mm -hmm. to uh, to step in the stage that you think you can do. You can do. And looking at this organization, uh, it's just not long ago we held uh, uh, the Chilean Kids Program that participated from Khartoum to Banjul. Wow. And I can tell you many kids from Khartoum who did not knew Brikama College, mm -hmm. most of them knew the place and some of them stood on the stage wow. and they were recognized. Yeah. Oh, In right. fact, they came out the best people from Khartoum. Wow. So come next time when you call such people, what do you think uh, that will happen to them? They'll yeah. be very happy yeah. and yeah. eager to yeah. answer yeah. to the yeah. call. Yeah. So somebody listening or somebody sitting down, don't have too much, don't think too wise. Mm -hmm. Just develop the oneness thinking towards this organization and say that these people definitely they want a stage. Mm -hmm. Let us all come and step on the stage. Mm -hmm. You can never be seen when you don't step on the stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the first time for me to know monument mm -hmm. is the time that uh, I went, I used to pass there, but I never knew. Yeah. But when this organization uh, created a platform for me as an MC, I was seen you in the youth. To enter. I, I was able to be connected. Yeah, yeah. And from that connection, I was charged with the full battery. Mm. So I can tell us that uh, we can only step on when we have a stage. And here is the stage. Let us all come and step on mm. so that we can be connected. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, you know, Brother Philip, uh, for such a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.